So, my dear students, how are you? Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I guess you know, as we all of you know, that during pandemic, because of this COVID-19, all of our classes have been going on through online mode. Isn't it? Please take it seriously. Okay. This online mode of education is also important as the offline course, that regular courses. Okay. It is equivalent to regular course. Okay, so be attentive. Okay, be serious. Okay, don't neglect your studies. Studies regularly. Okay, so my dear students, coming to the point. Okay, now today we will be starting new chapter. Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Are you ready to start a new chapter? Yes, sir. Say loudly. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, so before starting a new chapter, okay, before telling you topic for the new chapter of today. Let me ask you some questions, okay? I like some questions. I expect answer from your side as well, okay? So, what is this? This is a marker. Okay, this is a marker or white whiteboard writer, isn't it? So, where from where did you buy this? Do you buy this? Market. Market. And in market, where do you do you find this? Shop. In shops. So instead of this what do you what do you offer to the shopkeeper money very good instead of this after having this marker what you offer to the shopkeeper money isn't it so my dear students for the topic for today is money okay topic for today is money money is this visible Yes, sir. Very good. Today's date is? 23rd. Very good. 23, 07 and 2021. So, topic for today is morning class 12. Okay. Subject Economics. So, according to definitions, okay. Money is anything which is generally accepted as a medium of exchange, okay? At the same time, it acts as a major and store of value, okay? That is called money, okay? Now, first point, money is generally accepted as what? Is this visible? Yes, sir. Very good. Medium of? Exchange okay. Number one is medium of exchange, and at the same time, it, it acts as the store of value, and at last, it also acts as major of major of value, okay. So number one point, this is the definitions, okay, definition of money. Money is anything which is generally accepted as medium of exchange, okay. And at the same time, it acts as store of value and as well as measure of value. Okay, let's understand what do you mean by medium of exchange, okay. So as I gave you the example of this marker, okay, in order to exchange marker, what I have to pay to the shopkeeper? Money, isn't it? Suppose you are wearing your uniform, isn't it? From where did you get that uniform? From shops, isn't it? How did you get that? You pay for that, isn't it? You pay what? You pay money for your clothes, isn't it? Isn't it? And against your clothes, you pay money, isn't it? After that only you receive your clothes, isn't it? That means in order to have something, okay, in order to purchase or sales of goods and services. Listen, students, carefully. In order to purchase or sales of goods and services, this money, okay, money, what act as medium of exchange. Understood? With the money, we exchange goods and services. That is why it is called medium of exchange, okay? Now another word is at the same time it also act as store of value. Here store means to keep something, isn't it? Suppose you have 50 rupees in your pocket. Okay. Now in afternoon, since this is summer season, isn't it? You feel hot, 
isn't it? In hot summer day, what do you want to have? You want to have ice cream, isn't it? So you went to the mark, you went to the ice cream shop and you took one ice cream of rupees. You take one ice cream of rupees. You have taken one ice cream of rupees, thirty rupees. You have fifty rupees in your pocket, isn't it? Now after spending thirty rupees, how much left in your pocket? Twenty. Twenty, isn't it? So twenty left in your rupees twenty left in your pocket. That rupees twenty rupees you can carry tomorrow as well, isn't it? You keep something to buy for tomorrow as well, isn't it? That twenty rupees you can keep for a month also, isn't it? That twenty rupees you even you can keep for years and years also, isn't it? That means it store act as a store of value, isn't it? Money means we can keep. Okay, we can keep our pocket. That money is we can keep it in our pocket as well as we can keep in our home as well, isn't it? And we also can keep money in the banks, isn't it? That's why it is called a store of value. Clear? Yes, sir. So third point is money also act as major of value. Major means what do you mean by major? Major means Okay, let me tell you. Major of value means suppose for each and everything. What is the price of this marker? Twenty rupees, isn't it? That means this marker has certain value, isn't it? And that value is rupees twenty. That means that money is giving value of each and every goods and services. That means price, isn't it? Suppose I am wearing this T-shirt, isn't it? Now, if I, if you ask me, what is the value of the T-shirt? I must say rupees four hundred. That means this T-shirt has also monetary value, isn't it? That means every goods and services, every goods and services are given value in price, isn't it? Yes, sir. Clear. That's why it is also called measure of value. Clear. Yes, sir. So money is generally let's recall again money is generally anything which is accepted as medium of exchange and at the same time it also act as store of value as well as it also act as measure of value clear yes sir so my dear students now we will be moving towards another subject that is Development, development of money. Okay. Now the subject is development of money. So at first it was barter system. Okay. And after that metallic points came out and then paper currency came out and and now the digital money is digital money has emerged one of the main component of money now here you can see development of money first what was the development of money at first barter system second is metallic coins third one is paper, paper currency. currency now fourth one is digital money let's learn one by one okay now barter system do you know barter system i think you know barter system barter system is a system whereby a people used to exchange goods with another goods understood that means one good to exchange one good with another goods that kind of system was called barter system at first in the beginning okay in the earliest days there used to be a system called barter system people used to produce more goods okay people used to produce more goods than he actually consumed okay so that the surplus can be sell to another persons okay and whatever he needed from that persons he can receive 
okay that's why this barter system is one of the component of development of money in water barter system what happens in bar what happened in barter system was suppose okay suppose you have a horse okay now you want to buy a cow now what happened you have to find that persons who have who has cow and who wants to be willing to sell that cow as well as he wants to purchase a horse that that's only that transaction can happen otherwise it won't happen that means in barter system people used to exchange goods with goods without the use of money was there use of money in barter system no no very good because in barter system there were no use of money people used to exchange goods with another goods isn't it that is why it is called that was why it is called barter system now why metallic coins has emerged in later on in 600 bc okay it has emerged in 600 bc then the paper currency has emerged in 700 now why metallic coins have been emerged and the why the barter system has been stopped as because in barter system there were lack of many suggestion okay many solution okay in barter system what happened is number one main point is lack of double coincidence okay due to lack of double coincidence here double coincidence is means suppose i have a in barter system okay now we will go to barter system okay the era of barter system okay suppose i have a weight I have a wheat okay I have a wheat of 10 kgs understood now I want to sell 5 kgs wheat okay and in return I want to have rice okay I want to sell 5 kgs wheat and I want to buy what rice in return now what happens I have to find such persons who has a rice and he must wants to sell that rice. He must want to exchange that rice with, and he want he must willing to have wheat as well. Otherwise, so because of this problem, double coincidence. Got it? Now it is difficult to find such person who has rice, who wants to sell rice as well as he wants to receive wheat because of this problem. Okay, because of this lack of double coincidence that barter system has been vanished okay now money has started actually money has been minted in 600 bc okay that is metallic coins coins do you know metallic means uh, something which has made of a metal for example in earlier days there were money of gold silver do you know so in earlier days people now after barter system people have started to now the actual money has been started from this area era okay now metallic coins people used to purchase goods with now metallic coins due to the metallic coins the problem of barter system has been solved clear but okay now people used to purchase rice by exchanging offer with metallic coins another used to buy horse by giving metallic coins okay now later on people what people realized is this metallic coin is made up of metal you know and in case of huge huge money people has to carry huge amount of money that means he has to people has to carry heavy money the weight is very heavy okay now it is impossible to carry huge cages of metallic coins okay because of this the carriageable problem now what has introduced paper currency okay paper currency means notes have you seen the 2000 notes 2000 yes. rupee 2000 notes have you seen yes sir rupees 100 notes yes sir notes of rupees 50 yes sir very good note of rupees 500 
Have you seen? Yes, sir. Very good. That means that now because of that carriageable problem, the paper currency has been started. Okay. Now what happens paper currency? That paper currency solves the problem of carriageable. Isn't it? Now huge amount of money can be carried. Isn't it? It is easy to carry. Isn't it? Because it is very light. Isn't it? Compared to metallic coins, the paper currency is very light. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Now people used to use this paper currency. Clear? So what happens in 21st century is actually this digital money has been started from 21st century. Okay. What people realized is that the paper currency or we call it another term in another term we call it cash. Isn't it? Sometimes people don't have cash. Okay. And for cash he has to go to the banks. Isn't it? If he has account. Isn't it? And he has to go to the bank. He has to withdraw money and then to give to someone. Isn't it? It takes lots of time. Now this is the era of smartness, isn't it? People has become more smart, isn't it? And because of that problem, okay, cash problem, the digital money has been started, okay? Now digital money, suppose if you have Google Pay account, okay, if you have to pay some money to another person, you don't need to have cash, isn't it? By Google Pay account, you can pay that amount of money to another person, isn't it? Now, what happened? The cash, the problem of cash has been solved in what? Digital money. And in digital money, we can use, what we can use? Google Pay app, isn't it? Have you heard the word phone pay? Yes, sir. Now, from phone pay also, you can recharge your mobile phone, isn't it? You don't need to go to the market and pay some amount of money, isn't it? From your home as well, by using your mobile phone as well, you can recharge your mobile phone, isn't it? You even recharge your TV, Tata Sky video, account, isn't it? You even can pay your electricity bill, gas cylinder bill, isn't it? Water bills, you can pay through mobile phone only with the help of this digital money that is Google Pay, Bharat Pay is there, Phone Pay is there, isn't it? There are lots of Paytm is there, isn't it? Now to book a ticket of airplane, okay? To ticket of airlines from here, Pakyong to New Delhi, you don't need to collect cash, okay? You don't need to carry cash and go to the market and you, you don't need to, what? Order that ticket from the market, from the shop. You easily can do by sitting at home as well. You easily can fix your ticket by sitting at your home by using mobile phone, isn't it? By paying money through Google Pay or Phone Pay or Bharat Pay, isn't it? Yes, sir. So this era is very smart era, and this is the called digital money. Now, digital money has solved the problem of cash insufficiency. Clear? Yes, sir. So, let's come to the recapitulation part. Okay, what we have learned today? Today, we have learned what? Money. And I gave you the definition of money. The definition of money was generally anything which is accepted as medium of exchange. Very good. Store of value. Major of value. Okay, I I I go I went through details about these three terms, isn't it? And after that, I came to second subtopic that is development of money. money. And under that, I explained four things, four stages of development of money. Number one is barter, barter system. system. Number two is Metal metallic points. Number three is paper, paper currency. currency. And number four is digital money. digital money. Understood? Yes, sir. So, my dear students, this was for today's class, okay? Now, I will give you one home assignment. Please note down, okay? Explain, write down, okay? Explain digital money in the context of today's era, okay? Explain digital money in the context of today's era. Okay, question number two. Define money with suitable example. Define money with suitable example. Okay, thank you class. This much for today. Have a nice day. Thank you.